Brothers in arms are always at war, and it's time for them to go to war once again. This time in the latest iOS version, it's called Brothers in Arms 3, Sons of War, war, <laughs> war, war, uh, war. Marissa, yes. well, what's the plot behind this game? Well, well, first we need to say this is a freemium game. Uh, mm, your favorite kind of game. It's not my favorite kind of game, but there have been freemium games in the App Store as of late that I have been enjoying, so I do need to throw that one out there. And I also enjoy free things. I just don't enjoy some of the things that freemium games bring. This one has all of that. All of the freemium tropes are definitely here in this one, but this is a third person shooter with some cover. I love that the levels are broken up and they're very short. That's something that appeals to me. It's a three-star system. That's something that appeals to me, especially in the App Store. Those are very popular. This is from Gameloft, and I feel like over the years, Gameloft has stepped up their game. It's just not completely there for me because of the freemium aspects. There's a lot of them here. This is a big departure from Brothers in Arms 2, which was a first-person shooter. Here they wanted to create more of a tactical on the battlefield scenario. I think it's mostly okay. I mean, it's pretty easy to get from cover spot to cover spot. You can see which spots on the battlefield that you can get cover in. Yeah, they light then, up for you. And they light up for you, which is really nice, especially for me, because I'm a little slow. But then shooting, when you switch into shooting, you just tap on the screen yeah. and you can maneuver the cursor around and, and find the guys that are actually targeted that you can shoot at. None of it's bad, none of it's unplayable, none right. of it's horrible. But the freemium aspect, the fact that you can enjoy a little bit of this game before you can feel game loft reach into your back pocket trying to get the old wallet out, it feels really offensive to me. It, it is, but I'm having a really hard time finding a compelling argument against the freemium. And in this game, I never really felt Just like I needed to... Just make me pay for it up front. I know, I feel like I, I would be better with that. I'd pay you $5 for this and then just play as much as I enjoy rather than having the tap on the shoulder. Are you ready to buy some more well, of these? Are you ready to upgrade this weapon? Are you ready to buy more grenades? Right, of course, because as you progress, the game obviously gets more difficult mm -hmm. and you do need upgraded weapons and it constantly asks you to upgrade your weapons. I mean, almost after every single campaign match that you go into and they're very short, so when it's done, you feel like, okay, yes, it's time to upgrade and then you go into where you need to upgrade and you don't have enough stars or coins or dollar bills, whatever it is in this one, they're always different. Jewels. <laughs> no, no, I don't, you think don't there's, know. There's no jewels in this one. Mm. But there are some aspects of the game that I do enjoy, like you unlock different buddies that can do different things for you. So they're power-ups in-game, like you have somebody that can call an airstrike, you have somebody that can shoot a Molotov cocktail. There's just little added bonuses here that I enjoy because I like free things and I like having those power-ups and I'm not even really a shooter fan and I'm enjoying my gameplay. This is such a weird review because yeah. I'm not really... Once again, as with all the freemium games, I'm not really reviewing the experience itself, but I'm reviewing the, the concept of freemium games more than anything. There is a good game here, but you do have to fight with this every step of the way. You do have to keep pulling up at the wallet. You do kind of have to keep buying new stuff. What are you going to give Brothers in Arms 3 Sons of War freemium? Ooh, it's going to get a 7. It's going to get a 4 from me. Ooh.